Welcome to Studio Chatter. Has anyone been outside recently? Definitely. I go out every day to get my happiness. What about you guys? <laughs> Definitely. Probably two or three times a day to get in yeah. my sets, to get in my sunshine, to get in, yeah, just kind of fill your cup with the sunshine and energy. However, and I've probably made more steps or, or attract more steps during this distancing time than I did last year, but I have the pandemic bulge, so it's not really working out for me. <laughs> We're eating so much more at our house. I feel like I'm just a pioneer woman. I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm doing projects around the house, but I did lay out today in my backyard and it felt really, really nice. I did yard work today. today. And got some sun. Angie, did, are you cooking like more than once a week now? You guys, I'm cooking <laughs> almost every day. Like no almost, way. Yes, I am. Yeah, honestly. Your family's going to have a major adjustment when you get back to real life. They're going to hate me. They're going to totally hate me. <laughs> the pioneer woman is out the window when it comes back. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, even making like at night, I'll make fried eggs for the boys and oatmeal so that when they get up and get going and they can have some breakfast wow. so I know right they're gonna wonder yeah. where Angie went when this all gets back to normal they love COVID right now <laughs> they're getting fed <laughs> I love this time of, well I love this time of year because I I generally have you know it's cooked two to three times a week but also that it's grilling season so it seems mm -hmm. like we have fired up the grill a couple of times that we have put a couple of things on the Traeger so it's been nice because I don't have to do all of the cooking, but I, I'm i also trying to use what we have in the pantry, So, right. and which I don't know if it was always the best choice, but we're, we're okay, getting I want to ask you guys, are you getting ready every day? Like, no. Makeup, hair, and everything? No. no. I went like three <laughs> days without getting ready, hair in a bun. I don't know. It. It feels good, but then when I got ready today all the way, I was like, this feels nice. I know. It felt good, like me as Boutique is sponsoring us, and to put on like a fancy outfit rather than sweats and a t-shirt or jeans. I'm like, wow, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty fancy tonight. Well, if you were popping at Mia's, I, I spend a good amount of time in this office space anyway, so I picked something kind of comfy and casual anyway, but I feel like I'm going from my morning ugly sweats like my dressed up <laughs> dressy sweats <laughs> but so and and you know we're not wearing <laughs> shoes so that's the the benefit of Zoom. the the, uh, <laughs> the sweat to go uh to go watch tiger king <laughs> so well, are you watching having that? To... oh yeah <laughs> who's watching tiger king i'm not I watched one episode and it kind of freaked us out a little bit that we kind of stopped. I, I don't really? know. It's crazy. I had no idea that that was such a big thing. I don't know of anyone in Spanish Fork that has a lion or a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know, Stacey, if you can bring that up at council. But it's, is kind it, of, it's kind of scary. Is it filmed in America? I don't know anything about it besides there's people that own tigers. Yes, it's filmed in America. Okay. No, you should not go to Oklahoma ever. <laughs> ever. It's kind of one of those train wrecks that you get pulled into and you're just like, you're just appalled that it's even happening. But I, I think it's probably perfect timing because of the world that we're living in. You're like, oh my gosh. And they were like living in this world all the time. So it's just. So it's, it's, how many, how many episodes are you into it? Oh, we watched the whole thing. It's a, it's a, oh. it's, 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 <laughs> It's six episodes. It's it's a documentary, but um, I wasn't getting all of the jokes on social media. I'm like, who's this Carol Baskin? Who's Joe Exotic? Right. Who is this? And so, yeah, I mean, okay. you can't you you can't help but watch it. It's. Do you remember back in the day, um, Anna Nicole? Do you remember the guest oh, model, yeah. Anna Nicole? Did you ever watch that a bit of that reality show? A little, yes, I did. A little bit. I did like it. Similar, but different. So there you go. Oh, crazy, crazy <laughs> train. People should not have tigers and lions within a city limit. For this, is, no. this is true. So how are we doing with social distancing? Pretty, Pretty good. good. I, Pretty good. I, I feel good. 
I kind of feel like when I was raising little kids, um, the first week or two of summer break was always such a transition. Like I was kind of irritable and I felt like that the last couple of weeks. I feel like this week, we're what, in week three or four now, I feel like I'm okay. I'm settling into my new routine. I think I'm getting it. I don't feel as irritable as I was the first couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm kind of agitated too. I, I don't know yes. if being on my nerves and I wasn't being patient and I think it was just a new routine. Um, right. Different, different, I don't know, regular routine was off. And so I was thinking it and that was not nice. It's true. And it's, it is very, very difficult with little, little kids. Um, but I'm glad that you both said irritable because it makes me feel better that I'm not alone. <laughs> I literally chased a woman down in Macy's. Because she t- she touched and moved my car. <laughs> so people go to extremes to like wipe and sanitize your car, right? If I park in front of the carrot, don't touch my car. Like use your words. I was so mad. Like it took me t- it took me two aisles to get over. I'm like Ooh. you don't know you don't know if I have like something. Like, you don't right? you don't know. If- <laughs> Did you okay, say I, something I- to her? No, I, you know, I, 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 cho- I chose to be kind, but I literally like chased her like um, for like two, two, uh, two <laughs> aisles giving her dirty looks just to, to let her know that I didn't want her because it's real, you guys, people, I mean, whether, whether we respect it or not, or there are people that are, are ill and, and really would probably freak out or, right. you know, their, their cart was tossed after it was sanitized. Okay. Anyway, so that there okay. was that, um, we're going to have to wrap here in a second. I just have one. I've had all these crazy thoughts. Maybe this is my outlet. I don't know. So I'm also by the buffet sign the other day. And I don't know which one. I don't know if it was Chuck Arama, Golden Corral. They're offering delivery. <laughs> like what do you get? Just a whole plate of food? Well, you know, as I'm like, you know, I'll have the big scoop of potatoes and some chicken and some green beans and a dinner roll. And, but but what do you do? Like call them back for round two? Like, can I have the ice cream? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was su- super interesting, but that's no talk. Hmm. Hmm. Red pudding <laughs> for round two. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, this should be a really interesting show. So stick around. We have some great guests coming up. It will. Do you guys, if since we have a second left, our producer Pete um, printed up. Uh, uh, well, I printed it up. Pete sent us. Oh. I wanted to read it because I felt like it real. I could really relate, and I think most of us can. It says, and this, by the way, is copy and pasted from someone out on social media. Traffic is gone. Gas is affordable. Bills extended. Kids are home with their families. Parents are home taking care of their children. Fast food replaced by home cooked meals. Hectic schedules replaced by naps. The air seems cleaner. The world quieter. People are conscious about hygiene and health again. Money doesn't seem to make the world go around anymore. And we now have time, finally, to stop and smell the roses. And lastly, we become closer to our higher power. For everyone, it's different and more evidently praising them every day of our lives. It seems like this COVID-19 is a reset button for humanity. I kind of had a new word that came to mind and it was like essentialist, like kind of going back to the basics of things and just what yeah. we really need. Yeah. I think, I mean, we could talk for a while just on the benefits or disadvantages of this. We don't have time. So maybe next time. Next on Studio Chatter, have you heard of the Highs and Lows Journal? That's coming right up.